A Chesapeake neighborhood has dropped its security company after the shooting death of a man playing Pokemon Go. Jen Xing Chen's family says he was playing the popular game when Jonathan Cromwell shot him. Cromwell is now charged with second degree murder. The Riverwalk neighborhood says Cromwell wasn't supposed to have a gun, but the attorney for the security company says that's not true. Our Jimmy Lee reports. The Riverwalk community is cutting ties with Citywide Protection Services, the company that hired Jonathan Cromwell, a 21-year-old security guard accused of shooting and killing Jen Sheng Chen. We had no idea that we had security here. A spokesperson for the neighborhood said that Citywide was hired back in 2010 to patrol the boat ramp and the clubhouse at night, and the contract specifically calls for unarmed security guards. But attorney Andrew Sachs, who represents Citywide, says he has a copy of that contract and it absolutely does authorize security guards to be armed. Chen was parked at the clubhouse on the night of January 26th. His family's attorney says he was playing Pokemon Go in his car when Jonathan Cromwell approached him. There was a confrontation and Cromwell shot Chen. If uh, somebody rolled up and said they were security, we didn't know they were security. There would no, be no way that we would stop and, you know, and interact, especially at the time of night. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Palma Noble thinks the HOA should have made it more clear if Chen wasn't supposed to be on the property. And where does it say no trespassing? or where does it say um, that it's patrolled? Cromwell turned himself in after warrants were obtained for him last week. He faces a second degree murder charge. I'm told a community meeting with the association is going to be held sometime next month and neighbors hope that they can come up with some sort of solution to prevent something like this from ever happening again. In Chesapeake, Jemmy Lee, 13 News Now.